Papa. Hey, thanks for being here. I appreciate that. You guys know fall is right around the corner. I had already shot and uh, put up here my designer picks for, uh, for this year. Right now we're talking about my frugal favorites. So if you care to hear about this list, stay tuned because it comes up now. Thank you for sticking with me. I appreciate that. If you're new here, my name is Dave. This is Callie's Groom Room right here. We talk about all things men's grooming related, especially the wonderful world of fragrance. That is the ultimate accessory to your wardrobe, baby. That's just what it is. If that sounds interesting to you, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. This idea, you know, frugal favorites because we're not calling them cheapies here like everybody else does. No, no, no. We're innovative around here. We don't go with the trend and what everyone else says or does. That's right. But sometimes you get in a little creative funk. You need a help from your brother, a subscriber, a supporter, whatever you want to call it. But he is my brother. That's for damn sure. Dancy Bearded, thank you very much, brother. I appreciate that. Anyway, guys, with that shout out out of the way and with you guys now, part of this family, let's talk about the list. Fall Frugal Favorites 2021. Starting off this list at number 10 comes from a brand. I actually know the owner. That's why I wanted to keep it low on the list because I didn't want anybody to be calling me out for being a liar because I'll smack somebody. I don't, I'll get hostile up in here. I'm talking about James from First Line Shade. This is actually dedicated to his son. It's actually his picture of his son there on the label. Really cool concept. All this juice is fantastic, man. You have this bright, juicy peach. Hang on. We're not talking about summer freshies here, relax. It's this bright juicy peach, but it's combined with these supporting notes of pepper, cardamom. You also get this nice tobacco in here. This isn't your basic tobacco, no, no, no. This is like a, a cigar tobacco. I almost said pipe tobacco, but it's actually like a cigar tobacco. That's at least what it reminds me of. Even further on here, you're going to get some cedar and vanilla to help round out the base of the fragrance. Stuff is exceptional. The quality's really good here. Michael's definitely improved the quality of his oils. I highly recommend this stuff, especially if you're going out on a date night. This is great for uh, for date night. Awesome too if you're just going out, hanging out with a bunch of friends, maybe watching some Sunday night football. Now that football is back, or Saturday football if you're a college fan, or and or both. All right, this stuff is going to get the job done. People are going to want to know what you're wearing because again. This is just one of those fragrances that not everybody has, that not everybody is uh, is wearing these days. Great option here for you. James at the 10th spot by First Line Shave. <laughs> Next, oh man, do I have some history with this fragrance? You guys know. You guys already know. Not gonna go into a whole lot of detail. Versace the Dreamer. This Amber Fougere launched back in 1996. I was this little boy back then, but anyway, Versace the Dreamer, an Amber Fougere. What is an Amber Fougere, you're asking yourself? It's uh, it's this, this is this is an Amber Fougere. Anyway, we have lavender, sage, tobacco, you have geranium, fur in here. It's very aromatic, little spicy. You got some woods in here, obviously. It also has like this dusty, powdery nature to it. At least that's what I get. And that that is coming from the florals that are uh, that are present in here. Awesome stuff especially dressed up. If you guys throw a suit on, you spray yourself with this, perfect. Perfection dressed up. You could also wear it casually if that's your thing. Don't worry about it. Number nine, Versace, the Drima. So this is interesting because when I did the designer list for you, I left out a category, a, a genre, if you will. And I was like, damn it, I really should have given them an option, a fresher option, but not a typical blue, like a dark blue, if you will. We're talking about now Jaguar Pace. This stuff is freaking amazing. Yeah, okay, it's super synthetic. It gives me like this shower gel vibe, even though it's not soapy, but it kind of has that, you know, familiarity to it. Oh, guys, this, this is a good one here. Black pepper, rosemary, green apple, lavender, iris, cashmere, and amberwood. Stuff is great. It really is great. It's compliment getting. It lasts a pretty long time, five to six hours, what you're gonna get on this. This is not a performance list. This is a list talking about fragrances that are under $50. But this one here, 30 bucks, 
absolute steal in my opinion. Dumb reach, sort of a fragrance. If you're in one of those situations where you feel like going to work and getting compliments, going out and getting compliments, just compliments, 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 this is going to get the job done and it's very affordable. So if compliments are your thing and you want to smell like shower gel, Jaguar Pace. The next fragrance that we're going to be talking about is Mont Blanc Individual. This stuff is another incredible, fantastic, affordable fragrance, 25 bucks here. Juniper berries, lavender, mint, this creamy note of sandalwood. This one here is like sweet, spicy, little woodsy on the uh, on the dry down there. Stuff is so good. It's so good that Creed actually went and cloned this. Yeah, they called it uh, original Santal, but not that original. Yeah, and it, that that's another story for another day. But here we're talking about Mont Blanc Individual. So this is another one. It's great for office i love dressing this one up i love the way this smells on me when i'm dressed up i know that i'm going to be smelling great you know it's, it's that type of a fragrance this is another one though where it's almost like chameleon style you can wear it casually but i see this getting the job done better when you're just a little bit more dressed up that's my opinion of course but nevertheless for 25 bucks you better have this in your rotation this fall mont blanc individual I checked my numbers. I know you're out there. 35 to 45, you better be pulling this out. Bentley for men intense, spicy, leather, patchouli, boozy. It's so good. It's a little sweet as well. This stuff is so good. Another one, date night. Yep, yeah, definitely date night. Hell yeah. Going out with the guys, having a good time. Yep, great for that also. You want to dress this one up, perfect. But this is the best in the nighttime. It is really a, a nighttime type of a fragrance. Perfect for those types of scenarios there that I already outlined for you. Go ahead, grab yourself a bottle of this. This is in that $35, $40 space, somewhere in there, but definitely under 50 bucks. That's where we kept the entire list here. Bentley for Men Intense. Guys, you absolutely have to check this out if you haven't already. This one was going to be in the designer list and I said, you know what, let me save it for the affordable fragrance list, the frugal favorites, the cheapies, whatever the hell you want to call it, is fine with me. We're calling it frugal though. Guerlain Vetiver. Guys, if you like mature, classy, classic type of fragrances that are also timeless, you're gonna love this stuff. You have this mature tobacco note in here that's so, somewhat common with, uh, with fragrances of this style, because I think Initially, according to my research, this was launched in, two, or, uh, in 1960 and then reimagined or reformulated, if you will, in the year 2000. Lemon, bergamot, you also have a double dose of vetiver in here. I believe there's a note of vetiver in the heart and then again in the base or in the opening and in the base, something like that. But this isn't all about that. It's about fragrance and why I choose this, uh, this list this style the way that I do, but uh, you have sandalwood also in here. Definitely some oak moss. This is one that's gonna stay around for a little while. I consider this, you guys already know if you follow me on Instagram, pop it up right there. This is a great introduction to vetiver fragrances. If you're not, you know, familiar with uh, vetiver, this is a great place to start. It's a woody type of vetiver, so it's not smoky, it's not soapy, it's just very, very woody and especially on the base in combination with those woods and that oak moss, the way that they play off of each other. Stuff is just incredible. 45 bucks, guys. Definitely add this to your fall rotation this year. Then come back here and thank me. And I'll say, you're welcome. Guerlain Vetiver. Man, oh man. What can we say about this that hasn't been said already? Sammy Andras, blue sapphire, bergamot, lemon. But really, it's this note of Artemisia in here because... What happens when that note's introduced is absolutely incredible. Bitter, green, herbaceous. That's what happens when the note of Artemisia is introduced here. Yes, this is um, inspired by uh, Raja Dove's Elysium. Now, the difference being two things. Obviously, this isn't, you know, Roja oils in here, but still good quality oils for an inspiration, in my humble opinion. I don't get like that weird, funky opening that a lot of uh, clones have. And also, as the fragrance develops within that first 10 minutes, it actually does become more and more smooth. So this is a great 
inspiration. If you want to smell like Elysium without spending $290, this is the way to go. For $30, bucks, you are getting all-day performance and then some. I'm talking like eight, nine hours on skin. Even more if you uh, spray your clothes, go easy on the trigger with this one here because this stuff is super strong and damn sure worth it for 30 bucks. And you could wear it any occasion. You could do date, yeah, date with this. You could do day or nighttime as well. I'm tripping on the words, but yeah, guys, Sammy Andres Blue Sapphire is incredible. Definitely check this out. Check out the whole house also of Sammy. He has, he has originals too, but what, a, what an inspiration this is. Great one here. Check it out, Sammy Andres blue sapphire all right the top three if you know me as well as you think you do go ahead comment what you think my top three are going to be and then i'm going to tell you you're wrong go ahead give it a shot guys coming in number three this year versace poor home i don't normally like to uh do two from a house, just a weird thing, you know, but this is your chameleon day, night, date, office. You can do whatever you want with this thing. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I, I've talked about this fragrance so much, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time. Just know this is very citrus like in the opening, but as the fragrance starts to wear, you know, a little bit starts to dry down a little bit. You're going to notice this spicy note that's in here. Almost reminds me of like black pepper. That's kind of what I get here. Also, there's some woods here. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. People always tell me how good I smell when I'm wearing this fragrance. The, the compliments this thing pulls are, are almost stupid sometimes, you know? In, in one day, like how many compliments you can pull from wearing this fragrance. It's just crazy. Even if you don't like it, Somebody else that is walking past you will like it. It's that damn good, I'm telling you guys. I'll never stop recommending it. It will always keep showing up as long as I'm here for you. It will always keep showing up on lists just because it just works for me in every situation, in every scenario. And when I'm feeling a little down, because that does happen once in a while, and I'm like, you know what? I could use a freaking compliment today. Versace Porum does it. Definitely check it out. All right, number two, I'm not going to lie. I put this at number two because they kind of pissed me off a little bit, and I'm going to get into that. Number two comes from a brand called Rochas. This is Mustache. Mustache Eau de Parfum. I think this is like a 125 ml bottle. <clears throat> it runs for like 35 bucks or something like that. Yo, how are you going to create a fragrance that smells so freaking close to Tuxedo but isn't necessarily a clone? Come on. Really? Seriously, though. On a serious note, guys, it has that sweetness here. You have the patchouli. You have the leather. This stuff is so good. It's probably va vanilla, benzoin, and tonka somewhere in there. But uh, this stuff is absolutely incredible. I didn't put it number one on purpose because got a little thing going on here. I'm a little, little upset. I'll get over it. Don't you worry about me. But seriously, mustache is a must-have for the fall. It's so good. It's a really good fragrance. Is it better than Tuxedo? No, but would you rather spend $250 on that bottle or would you rather spend 40 or less on this 125 ml bottle that's gonna last you for years? It's your choice. Rasha's mustache, definitely check it out. And that was a joke, but I was like kind of serious, but this fragrance was number one no matter what because I love it that much. Burberry Touch, taking the number one spot. Frugal favorites for fall. This stuff is incredible. You have some florals in here, some cedar, some nutmeg. It's fresh, spicy, woody, slightly powdery in nature. Guys, you wanna talk about fashion for a second? You wanna talk about sweater weather? Put this thing on when you're wearing a sweater. It'll do wonders for you. It's going to stay around for a very long time. Something about the fibers of a sweater in this fragrance, and I've said it before, it just latches on and it just improves what this fragrance can do. It's just incredible. I love it. 
I will never be without a bottle of this. And there's just something about the way the inside of this wooden cap smells with the fragrance inside of there. I love this fragrance. It's so good. Uh, I'll always have it. It's another one of those fragrances that I'll always have. I'll never be without. It's about time I do a list like that. Ow, that hurt. Probably shouldn't do that anymore. But anyway, guys, Burberry Touch is definitely a must. This is another one. Dress it up. Dress it down. You can wear it casually. Long sleeve shirt with jeans. Or you can wear this with a suit and tie. It's that versatile. I love it that much. That's why I'm recommending it to you at number one. And if you skipped, if you skipped what you just missed out on, you better rewind and listen to what I just talked about previously. I mean, I'm probably not going to do anything about it, but I mean, you just should, you know, how to like, I don't know, maybe like common courtesy or something. I, I don't know. But check out the rest of the list too. Don't, don't be that guy. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's the list. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, be kind to one another, respect everyone, love each other. I'll see you guys soon. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to bring Jess back to rank these in the next video. We'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Peace.